video, I'm going to teach you about translating functions. Now, the word translating oops, really means what I just did, which is moving. We like to move things left, right, and up, down. Let's just start with a nice, easy example. We have a graph given to us. It's called f of x. The directions say, move the graph of f of x one unit to the right and two units down. Let's do that. To begin, I want to find points on the graph that would help me move the entire graph. I like starting with this point, since it's on the graph. We could also use the point 2, 4. And how about the point negative 2, negative 4? I think if we move those three points and then draw in that shape, it would be a lot easier than trying to do a lot more points. All right, so let's do this. Let's take the first point, which was at 0, 0. Let's move it 1 to the right and 2 units down. The new point is at 1, negative 2. Let's graph that on our other set of axes. Okay, next point, which was at 2, 4. Let's move that 1 to the right and 2 units down. Now that point is at 3, 2. And graph that over here. And our last point, if we move that 1 to the right and 2 units down, I go off my graph, but it's okay. We're only going 1 off, so that point is now at negative 1, negative 6. So I'm just going to extend my axis here. I want you to do the same. We'll just add on negative 6. And here's our point at negative 1, negative 6. Excellent. Now, let's connect them in the same shape as the original. So this one kind of curves in that way, and this one starts to curve up, just like that. So it's really easy when I tell you in words how to move the graph. But when we're working in an algebra class, we like to have an algebraic way of saying how to move something. Here's what I mean. When we want to move something to the right, we want a way to express that. Let's start with the name of the function. Let's call the original function f of x. If I want to move it to the right, I am going to take the x value, which is right here, and I'm going to replace it with an x minus the amount of spaces that I want to move it. So I'm going to put x minus the number of spaces. If I want to move something to the left, I'm going to, to add the number of spaces to the x value. So it's going to look very similar. So we're going to have f of x plus the number of spaces we want to move to the left. That might seem a little, little strange, almost like the opposite of what you may think. We're going to talk more in class about why that happens. And lastly, for up and down, if I want to move something up, I'm going to take the original function, f of x, and instead of changing the x values, think about that. When you move the um, points up or down, it changed the y value. So we're actually going to just add the amount of spaces to the end of the function. And when we move something down, we're going to take the original function, and as you might expect, we're going to subtract the amount of spaces. Notice that the placement of what we're adding or subtracting tracting is different. In left and right, we're changing the x values, and in up-down, we're changing the y values. Let's do an example. All right, so we're given a new graph. Instead of saying in words how to move it, now I've told you algebraically what I want you to do. So let's see. This graph's called h of x. Notice what happens to our x value here. We have x plus a number. Well, according to our notes, when we have x plus a number, that means we're going to move it left. So this is meaning left three units. The last part, when we have plus a number at the end, 
that means to move it up. So we want to move this graph up four spaces. So see, it's just like the first problem that you could have done on your own without me telling you what to do. We just had to figure out what that direction was telling us. So let's do it again. Let's work with these points right here, where things start to change. How about those four points? And then when we move those four points, we can connect them. Let's do it. So here's our original point. Let's move it left three. One, two, three and up four. One, two, three, four. So we're going to put a point at negative nine, negative one. Next point. Move it left three. One, two, three, and up four. One, two, three, four. Let's put a point at negative four, seven. Third point. Let's move it left three. One, two, three, and up four. One, two, three, four. That point's going to go at zero, seven. Last point. Left three. One, two, three, and up four. One, two, three, four. That point is at four, nine. And now we're ready to connect. They look like straight lines. Just using straight lines to connect them. And voila, we're done. I now want you, hopefully you're all listening, I want you to write down at the top of the page, what is the date? What is today's date? Okay. Now, hopefully you're watching this the night that you should be doing homework. But whatever night it is, I want you to put down the date. The month, the day, and the year. Now we're ready to finish our last example. Notice there's no graph given. It says let f of x equal x squared. Move the graph of f of x three units to the right and two units up. What is the equation of the new function? All right, so now we could make a graph. If you'd like to make a table and see what the graph of this equation gets you, we could move it three right and two units up, but I'm not sure if you really know how to write the equation of that new graph yet. But aha, we just learned some algebra that says that when we move something three units to the right, we're supposed to do something, and when we move it two up, we're supposed to do something. Let's do that right now. We started with f of x. When we move it three to the right, it says to replace x with x minus the amount of spaces we're moving. That would be x minus three. Now let's move it two units up. So we already have the f of x minus 3, but the up, we're supposed to add the amount that we'd like to move it up. So that's what we're supposed to do to the equation. All right, let's try this. So we started with f of x. That's x squared. The next thing, we said we're going to replace x with x minus 3. Well, here's our x. We need to replace that with an x minus 3. But noticing this part, the x is being squared. That means this entire thing needs to get squared. We have to put parentheses around it. In other words, if you just wanted to look at the original equation, it's like I'm doing function notation. This says to plug in x minus 3 into the equation. The last part says to add 2 to the end of your equation. So we'll just add a 2 like that. So I've done all of the steps to translate it. I'm ready to write down my equation. So my new function, notice it does say new function. I don't want to call it f of x 
This is a new function. Let's call it anything else. You could call it g of x, you could call it um, k of x, or you could just call it y equals, if you didn't want to name it. We could say y equals x minus 3 in parentheses squared plus 2. And that would be the equation of the graph that got moved. We didn't even have to move the picture. We just did it algebraically. See you in class.